Pedro Almodovar is Spain's best-known contemporary filmmaker. He has won two Academy Awards for his films. David Denby of The New Yorker called him the most bitterly intelligent director since Billy Wilder. Here is a look at some of his work. Recién llegada a Madrid vi un suicidio en este puente. Noté algo muy extraño. Me sentí vacía y fuera de mi cuerpo. Después he vuelto más veces. Tú y yo nos parecemos. A los dos nos obsesiona la muerte. A todo el mundo le obsesiona. Es que tengo de todo, ¿eh? Música heavy, rock, soul, cumbias, tengo sevillanas, eh, salsa, tecnopop, jotas, lo que quiera. Si quiere le quito el mambo. El mambo me encanta. Es que el mambo hmm, es lo que mejor va a este tipo de decoración, ¿eh? ¿Me importaría desarrollar todo esto que me acaba de decir en cinco folios? Me temo que no soy la persona adecuada. Me horroriza banda gris. Mejor... Para fenómenos de esta dimensión solemos publicar una columna en contra y otra a favor. La primera, naturalmente, sería la suya. No quiero escribir en contra. Ya hay suficientes cosas negativas en mi mundo. Que no pueden subir, que voy a cerrar la cochera, no estoy de servicio. Es que mi amiga se ha puesto de parto. ¿Y yo qué quiere que le haga? Oiga, no le he dicho que no suba. Tú ponte cómoda, niña. Ah. Bueno, me pueden hacer esto, por favor, váyanse. No le estoy pidiendo que adopte al niño, joder, solo que nos lleve a maternidad. Y antes de que llegaras, estábamos comentando que tú podrías ocupar mi puesto. Yo haciendo de Estela, pues me veo más haciendo de Blanche, no sé. Sustituirme a mí, no a Nina y mucho menos a Uma. Gracias, Manuela, pero no creo que... Pon la prueba unos días. No es tan bruta como parece. Sí que lo soy, Uma, y mucho. Ahora mismo, por ejemplo, no me estoy enterando de nada. <risa> Estos últimos cuatro años han sido los más ricos de mi vida. Ocupándome de Alicia. Y haciendo las cosas que a ella le gustaba hacer. Menos viajar, claro. A mí me pasa lo contrario con Lidia. ¿Y eso? No soy capaz ni de tocarla. No reconozco su cuerpo. Soy incapaz hasta de ayudar a las enfermeras a que le den la vuelta en la cama. Y me siento muy mezquino. Hable con ella. Cuénteselo. Aunque consiguiera el dinero, ¿cómo puedo estar seguro de que no volverás a hacerme chantaje? Nunca estará seguro. En eso consiste mi venganza. Abra o empiezo a chillar. Yo quería a Ignacio. A un niño de 10 años no se le quiere. Se le acosa. Se abusa de él. Also joining me, Penelope Cruz. She is an actor known in America for her work in films like All the Pretty Horses Blow and Vanilla Sky. Well, there is the third picture she and Pedro have made together. Here is the trailer for the film. Una cosa que yo debería saber y que no sé. Mogollón. ¿Estás enfadada? No. Hay gente que dice que la ha visto. ¿La has visto tú? <gasps> Mamá, hay algo que quieres que yo haga, ¿no? Cortarme el pelo. No deberíamos llamar a la tía para decirle que vamos. Hola. Hola. ¿Estar con alguien? No. Agustina tiene cáncer. Uy, 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 uy. Tienes cáncer, Agustina. Venga, un fuerte aplauso para Agustina. ¿Queréis un poquito? No, 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 no. Que la María es mía. Mira lo mosas que están las plantas. No, no, no. Necesito que me hagas un favor esta noche. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que me estás pidiendo? Por acompañarme hasta el río, abrir una zanja, enterrar el frigorífico y no hacer preguntas. ¡Ay, Dios mío! No te muevas ni hables, que está mi madre. Tacatón, tacatón, tacatón. Volver. Es muy doloroso que una hija no quiera a su madre. Con la frente marchita, la nieve del tiempo platearon mi ser. Well, there has been selected as Spain's candidate for the best foreign film Oscar. Also joining us, the translator for Pedro is James Nolan. I am pleased to have Baker back at this table and Penelope here for the first time. We've made a deal here, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to speak in English 
and Mr. Nolan will help him if he misses a word, but we're not going to get him, let him get away from using the kind of English that we know he's capable of. <laughs> Having said that, you're, you're a young teenage girl in Madrid, watching lots of movies. He came to mean what to you? He, he meant that dreams really, really can become true. You know, it, I grew up watching his movies and it was my, my biggest motivation to, to try to become an actress was that dream, to be able to work with him one day. So I looked for an agent, I went to a theater school and I made two movies and he saw those movies and when I was 17 he called me up and, and I remember when I heard his voice, when I, say, I heard him say hello, I knew it was the, be the beginning of a special and long relationship. I just knew it was going to be something very special in my life and it was not only about the work we were going to do together. What was it about the movies that you liked that resonated with you? Well, I felt there was this person, you know, in the time when I was a little girl, when my, my country was, was changing so much. I was born in 74, that's the year that Franco died, and all of yeah. those years yeah. it was like such a dramatic change. And I remember he was the representation of a freedom that, it was freedom, I didn't have to be tacky to be free, you know? And mm -hmm. it was like, okay, I, 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 I want to know who that person is, I'm so curious about the way he never judged, judge, judges, yeah, judges his characters, yeah. and I was able to appreciate that very, very young. That he and didn't judge his characters. That he didn't judge his he characters. He let them be. Yes, because, I mean, it, it was like in, in everything that happened in those years, everyone thought, okay, now we can, we can express ourselves, so that man, like everyone had to be running around naked, and it was just about that, and then it, he did that in a, in a very different way and you can only do it that way if you have the talent that he had and he did a lot for my for my country just not for the for the movies but i think he affected people's lives in a huge way and he did with mine so it was not only about the 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 movies it was so much more i felt like i i really i can smell this person's soul and i want to get to know him you know and it's amazing everything that has happened I mean, can you say that he is the single most important person in your professional career? Yes, yes, because I mean, I have a lot of people in my career that have given me great opportunities and that I love very much and I feel very grateful, but I feel he's almost like a family member also, you know, and, yeah. and when those things, when you have that much trust for somebody and those two things can go together and the huge admiration that I feel for him, and I keep talking like if he wasn't sitting here. Yeah, I know, he wasn't sitting here. But, Those but, things are together. I don't hate anything. The family is important to you, not only. Yeah, very much. A, a bit growing up. Yeah. But also as the way you see filmmaking. Yeah, no, I think family is one of the best subjects. Um, and you can make a thousand different movies with a family subject, with a relation among the different members. And, uh, and Volver is one, an, example, an, an example of that. Volver is, is, is a movie about a family of women. Yeah. It's about a female universe and uh, about the relation with mothers and daughters and sisters. Uh, and sisters. And it's full of difficulties and full of emotion. Too. Yeah. It goes back to a region of Spain that you cared about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was also very important for me because I, I couldn't anticipate that I will feel like I felt when I was shooting because, uh, you know, I really came, I really came back to my roots and also I was shooting in the same places that I was born yeah. and, um, and, you know, surrounded by people very similar than the people, I mean, I was surrounded by women and all that women in the, in the movie, they, they look like, and I, they inspire really the character of the movie and also, you know, I felt very close and everywhere the presence of my mother. So it was something incredibly, your incredibly mother. moving. Yeah. yeah. And my this mother. is about a mother who comes back and... Yeah, it's also a mother that you know, come back from and beyond a, and, and yeah. that trying to fix it up some things, some problems that uh, she made in the past. And, you know, mm. Well, it's a, <laughs> it's a, diff, it's a, it's a story yeah. that if you say, uh, can be like, like very com comic, but it's, well, mm. 